Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review and talking about the pros and cons of these bottom sweeper jigs. I've been using them for quite a while now. I saw them online, saw a lot of people catching fish with them, so decided to try them out for myself. Now, they're really good for sheep's head, black drum, redfish, any of those bottom feeders, and for rigging up fiddler crabs, uh, pieces of blue crab, you can put shrimp on them, you can also put sand fleas. So a great all around jig for those bottom feeder type of fish. Now, if you haven't done so already, definitely be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel as we put out new fishing tips on pretty much a daily basis to help you catch more fish. And also we put out plenty of unbiased product reviews. Now we do not take any sponsorships or endorsements. So when we review these products, we're gonna tell you what we like about them and what we don't like about them. So first we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of these jig heads and then later on in the video, I wanna show you some on the water footage of actually rigging up some fiddler crabs and catching some sheep's head on these jigs. So first let's talk about the pros. The one thing that I really like about these jig heads is that they're nice and small and compact. So you don't have to make an entire rig when you're fishing for those certain types of species. All you have to do is tie the jig head on and you're good to go. Also, something that I really like about these jig heads is the way that they sit on the bottom. As you can see there, they are very balanced so that that hook point or the hook itself is actually facing up. So your bait will be on there almost sort of laying in the same position that the jig head is. And then you have your hook point up, which can definitely help increase uh, the chances of hooking into those fish. And I've actually even caught a sheep's head uh, underneath its jaw just by having this hook point up top like that because the sheep's head was feeding on the fiddler crab, felt the bites, went to set the hook and ended up catching that fish right underneath the jaw. So even if you don't get the hook in their mouth, you can definitely uh, hook into those fish just by setting the hook and possibly uh, hooking those fish under the jaw or near their mouth. Now something else that I really do like about these jig heads, again going back to just how they sit on the bottom and the way they're positioned, is if you're coming across a piece of structure, let's say it's dragging on the bottom and you hit, let's say a rock, let's say this other jig head is a rock. If you hit that rock, you're gonna go right over it and that hook point's still gonna be up as opposed to falling over to the side like a regular jig head and hooking into that structure. So definitely helps eliminate snagging up on structure and rocks and things like that. Now, as far as the cons, some of the things that uh, I didn't like too much about them, and this is pretty much standard across the board with any type of painted jig head is that the color is gonna come off. You know, when you're casting around structure and rocks and pilings, that jig head's gonna take a beating, that color is gonna start wearing off of the actual jig head. Not too big of a problem. I didn't find that the color really makes too much of a difference anyway. Uh, you can purchase them unpainted, where it's just a standard lead jig head. Uh, that would probably be the way to go if you're worried about the color coming off. You could also touch them up with nail polish or something like that if you wanted to, but that's just standard with any type of painted jig head. One other con about these jig heads can be the price. Uh, these heavier jig heads in the three quarter to one ounce uh, size, they only come one per pack. As you can see, this is a, a one aught three quarter ounce jig head. There's only one in the pack there. And then I believe these smaller jig heads, when you get to like a quarter ounce and around there, they do come in two uh, in a pack. And they run anywhere from about four or five or six bucks, depending on the size. So it can be a little pricey, especially if you start uh, getting snagged a lot and losing them. But in the end, overall, I feel like they're really great jig heads for uh, their intended purpose, which is targeting those bottom feeders with that hook point that stands straight up. The way these jigs are balanced definitely helps that hookup ratio. And then the last thing that I didn't like too much, and I found this out when I was using bigger baits with these smaller hooks, is because there really isn't much of a hook shank there, so you don't have a lot of space. So if you put a really big piece of uh, blue crab or something like that on there, you really have to make sure that you just barely hook it near the end of that bait. That way you have a good amount of hook point exposed or else you're going to uh, find yourself missing quite a few uh, hits. So that's one thing uh, that I found that I didn't like too much. If that hook shank was just a little bit longer, could help with those bigger baits. But again, it's a pretty small compact jig head. So what I'm using here, this is a bottom sweeper jig and it's made for sheep's head, black drum, and pretty much anything that feeds off the bottom. It's a one-aught hook, 
and a one ounce weight and it's pretty balanced when it sits there it just sits on the bottom the crabs up and the hook point is up makes for a pretty good hook show you just how I'm rigging these crabs really quick I actually went out and caught these yesterday glad I did so what I'm doing is going through the bottom of the crab and out through the top trying to keep the claw on I like to keep the claw on because it almost like acts like a, a tractor for the fish a little visual aid for them there Here's a nice sheep's head. Nice fish. Using that bottom sweeper jig with fiddler crabs. So that will wrap up this product review. If you have used these jig heads before, we definitely like to know what you think about them. So let us know down in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong. And have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.